Hey, a happy and an efficient dealer at the craps table will help speed up the game and make it more enjoyable for you. I'm gonna cover 11 simple things that you could do to make that happen. Hey, my name is Joe and this is my craps master journey. Let's make it yours too. Number one is properly hand them your chips. So in other words, put the chips into the come area when you wanna make your bet and then announce out loud what you want your bet to be. If you're handing the, your chips to the stick man, then toss it so that they can catch it in midair and make sure that they know that it's coming or you can actually hand it to the dealer and the dealer will make the bet for you by announcing to the stick man and the stick man will actually place it out. Number two, politely ask the dealer with any questions that you might have. So biggest question I always have because I don't play odds that much is how much odds can I put on a pass line bet or a don't pass bet or a come bet or a, you know anything like that, a DC bet. I don't play odds that often, so that is one question that I normally have when I uh, make my wagers. You can also question them politely about any missed payments. So let's say a number was hit and you felt that you should have been paid out a certain number and the dealer pays you out wrong. You know, question them, ask them politely, hey, I think it should have been $21 instead of $14. And a lot of times the dealer will realize, oh yeah, I didn't make that mistake. Or they're gonna ask the box man to make a decision on what the proper payout should have been and whether it was made. Another thing that you can politely ask them is if they moved your chips appropriately or to the proper areas. Sometimes if your combat is uh, placed out there, but they don't see it that they might not move it to the correct spot. Or if the seven or 11 is rolled, uh, they might not pay it out. Or, you know, if the two, three or 12 is rolled, they might not take it off. So, you know, politely ask any questions from the dealers if you do have them. Coming in at number three is don't pester or bother the dealer about when you're gonna get paid or when you should make your bets. Watch their direction. They're gonna give you a cue on what you need to do. Uh, remember, the dealers follow what's called an order of operations. So as soon as the dice is rolled, the number is determined. First of all, they're gonna take the bets off the table, all the losing bets, whether it be the pass line, don't pass line, DC, uh, field bet, come bet, whatever it is. Next, they're gonna start paying out the bets and they'll start on the outside and work their way in. So they'll start with a pass line or don't pass line, then they'll go to the field, then they'll come, then they'll, then they'll place bets and work in their way back towards them. Just kind of watch for their verbal cue, their, um, their nodding to say, hey, what do you want? For example, I was at a casino a couple weeks ago and the dealer said straight up, hey, when you win your bet, let me know if you want to place part of that onto another bet or what your new bet's gonna be because he did that all at one time before moving on to the next person. Now that's not a common method, but that is something that the dealer actually requested. And in order to keep him happy, in order to keep the game going smoother, everyone that was at the table complied with him. Number four is kind of a repeat from uh, the last one, but hey, if the dealer misses a payment politely inform them or let them know that they did or if they mispaid it. I've been hearing a lot lately of, of newer dealers, people that are new to dealing the game of craps, new to becoming a stick man. And it seems like a lot of the casinos are having a hard time keeping staff or an adequate number of staff to work the craps tables. Hence the reason they only have half of a table open or they only have a select few tables open if they have multiple tables at the casino. So, you know, if they mispay you, kindly, gently educate them, kindly, gently talk to them, say, hey, I think it should have been this, I think it should have been that. You know, get the box man involved if you need to, they'll get security involved if they need to. Try to work with the dealer as much as possible. And don't be rude about it, guys. Hey, number five is to kindly remind the dealer if they miss taking one of your bets off. 
For example, I play a comeback quite often. I, I a lot of times will play what's called the Hedgeless Horseman strategy, brought made popular by John at Pro Craps. And sometimes they will forget to take my combat off if it is a losing bet. Or sometimes they'll forget to move it to the proper spot. But hey, if they forget to clear your bet, kindly remind them, let them know, hey, you should have taken that, I lost that. And that's gonna go a long ways for you and it's gonna add some integrity to you and to your game. The dealers are gonna appreciate it. Again, they'll have multiple people at the table usually at all times. And it's hard to keep up with that sometimes. Just try dealing it yourself. I know when I do did a lot of my strategy videos, I would run two strategies at the same time. And for me, that was difficult to do. Um, but the more I practiced, better, the more better I became at it. You know, remember, a lot of these dealers are, are dealing to six, seven, eight people at one time. And that's just on half the table. And then there's a dealer on the other side doing the same thing. So they do make mistakes. Um, and if they forget to clear your bet, you don't, hey, remind them, hey, that was a loser. Yeah, it sucks losing your money. And you think, oh, maybe I could pull one over on them. But they will remember that. If you help them along and take the money when you know when it's legitimately supposed to be you know who knows maybe if you forget the place of bed and it's part of your strategy and they know it's part of your strategy maybe a little bit later they'll give you a, a, a give me a mow again um they'll actually help remind you to make that bet so that way you stay on strategy you stay on point and hopefully have a better chance of winning number six ask them to help deal with disruptive players or bystanders. Now, that is one of my biggest pet peeves. Somebody comes in, they're making a big scene, they're acting out, they're doing something different than what the majority of the table is doing. To me, that's very distracting. And it is the job of the dealer, the box man, the stick man, the staff at the craps table to actually help manage the people at the table to hopefully help minimize any distractions to help speed the game along so they can get a certain number of rolls per minute. And if they don't, or if they're actually encouraging it, try to politely say, hey, that's not appropriate. Could you talk to this guy? Could you uh, have this lady stop doing that? Could you, you do get where I'm going at this. Number seven, tip the dealer, first of all, if they deserve it, and second of all, if you're winning. When you make your tips, there's numerous different ways that you could do it. You could do player control, you could do dealer control, you could place them on the prop bets on the, on the place numbers. Um, Brian from Hawaii Craftshire says, dealer shooting from the don't because he hates that when people do that, so he'll put them on the don't pass. It doesn't matter how you tip the dealer, try to get them involved, you get the tips going out, they're gonna enjoy it, they're gonna make more money um, because they are, a lot of their income is tip based. But it also gets them involved in the game, it gets them rooting for the dice to be uh, thrown on a longer roll. You know, all that type of stuff is going to help them get paid more in the long run. So, hey, they enjoy the tips and if they deserve it and you're making money, why not? Number eight, this will help the dealers out a lot, but know your table etiquette. Know what to do and know what not to do. There's spoken rules, there's written rules, but there's also rules that are unspoken and, and rules that just assume that you're going to follow. So, hey, in the top right corner, I'll put one after the other. I did two videos, one on the shooter's etiquette. So what you should do from a shooter side of things is I was up there. And now the next card here is going to be better's etiquette. What type of things you should do from a better's perspective. Check those videos out. Very informative, very informational. And who knows, they might have something on there that you really didn't think about and that will make it more enjoyable experience at the craps table if you do follow those etiquette rules. Number nine, get the dealers involved in some conversations. Hey, they're people too. They want to be, you know, treated humanely. They want to be treated nicely. They want to be included in whatever you're talking about. And don't just make it all about craps. Talk about sports that, you know, a lot of the casinos will have televisions around, you know, they'll have sports playing. Talk about the sports. Talk about, you know, something that's going on in your life. Ask them about what's going on in their life if they're willing to share. It gets pretty boring. It gets to be pretty long days sometimes for those guys because they're there four, five, six, seven, eight hours in a day 
to work in a table. Yes, they do rotate out. They do, you know, move positions and all that stuff. That's, that's, that's a given, but get them included in the conversations. The more they get to know you and the more you start having conversations, the more enjoyable the experience at the craps table will be for you and for them as well. Hey, number 10, if the dealer warns you about something, a mistake that you made or a way to place your bet, follow it. Everybody makes a mistake. Everybody needs to be corrected from time to time. But the dealer, if they give you that warning, try to follow the guys because you know, they realize people make mistakes, but if you keep on making the same mistake or you start, keep on getting warned by that dealer, the stick man, the box man, that's not a good thing, guys, because that's going to slow the game down. That's going to make them resent having you at the table, and that's going to sour their mood. You know, everybody wants a positive attitude at, at the craps table. That negative attitude, that soured attitude um, is only going to invite you know, big red to show up. If you're liking this video, please give me that thumbs up. Uh, it's a lot of work to put these things together. It doesn't cost anything. And it's a huge support to me and to my channel so we can help get that message out to the YouTube community. One of my goals is to educate other players, educate other people in the game of crafts and help them become part of my journey. Finally, at number 11 is have patience. Have patience with that dealer. Again, like I said, it seems like there's a lot of newer dealers out there, so they're a little bit slower in how they do things. Have patience with the dealers. You know, the longer a roll goes, the more money that's out there, the longer it takes to do the payoffs, the longer it takes to make the bets because people are putting out more chips on their, on their stacks. Ultimately, the dealer wants the game to go faster. They can't stand it when it's a slow game, slow moving game. Um, and obviously the casino wants to have as many rolls per hour as possible. Have patience with that dealer. Remember, the more impatient you are, the more of a problem person you become for that dealer and the more that slows down the craps game at the table, which ultimately makes it unenjoyable for you as well. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider doing so. Every little bit that you can do, subscribe, like, sharing my videos, and that'll help get my videos out more so I can help educate other people. If you're looking for different ways that you can help promote the game of craps, I have a video that I did on the six different ways that you could do to promote the craps game. Hey, click on that link on the right side for that video. My name is Joe and this is my craps master journey. Let's make it yours too.